I just completed the Master's of Science in Epidemiology by Distance Learning, and I am a pediatric critical care uh, registered nurse in Toronto, Canada, and the pediatric ICU of the largest children's hospital in Canada. And I balanced working frontline in the ICU during COVID with doing this master's. So I opted for distance learning, I think for a couple of reasons. One being that COVID was still quite prevalent at the point that I applied. And I also felt a bit of a moral pull as a frontline nurse to stay where I was and continue practicing for my community at that point in time. Being able to study things and then go to work and hear about the same concepts being talked about or to see sort of the social determinants of health and um, infection uh, transmission patterns unfolding in front of me um, was a really sort of full circle moment at a lot of different points in time for me. So I chose LSHTM because of the global focus that it has and the connections that it has all over the world. And I really wanted to be able to have this high quality education with sort of that infusion of global health being that focus. I really wanted to be come out prepared to be able to work internationally. That's one of the really special things about the distance learning cohort is that you get people from all corners of the world. We very quickly had a large WhatsApp chat going where we were communicating regularly about uh, the courses, about the classes we were taking and opportunities come up where you actually can meet them. Um, so I came to LSHTM and did a blended learning course for two months and I met a few of the people then and that was really cool to actually meet them in person. One of my closest friends lives in Botswana so we got to spend time in London together which was just so surreal and so special. With distance learning comes uh, the need for self-direction and being organized and once I found that rhythm um, even though my shift work schedule wasn't always regular, I found a natural rhythm to fit school into that. The virtual learning environment that we use is really well equipped with uh, different resources that you can sort of self-service um, and be able to interact with tutors and different classmates as well and access all of your course materials in one place that makes it very streamlined. I think I actually really enjoyed, much to the general population's disagreements, a lot of the statistics courses. I think the way that they're taught here is done in such a practical, real world lens. So maybe we were looking at um, infant mortality in sub-Saharan Africa, and we'd, we would have the data set and the numbers on that and a little bit of information about the study that was done, and then be asked to go forward and sort of apply statistical methods to answer uh, a question that they've given us. And that sort of brings it all to life. Having it taught to you in that way with those types of activities made it so much more real for me. So if I had one piece of advice for distance learning students, I would say uh, really connect with your fellow students. Ask for help, lean on each other, and you'll get so much out of the experience. You'll leave with really rich friendships. You'll have a more thorough learning experience with the curriculum material. Um, and I think you'll, you'll leave with lots of connections. Mm -hmm.